Hello again. So this week, like I said, we are going to be looking at the routine, our daily routine of things. So ooh, here we have the routine of getting dressed in the morning. One of the first things we do. So as you can see that we have two pieces of paper. We have a piece of paper with six squares. And we have a piece of paper with six square pictures. Are they squares or rectangles? Mm, close, close. So anyway, as I got you to practice writing your ordinal numbers this morning, with these sheets this week, you must write the ordinal number on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth picture. So let's see what we have. We have put on your shirt. Do you put your shirt on first? Put on your trousers. Do we do trousers first? Put on your underwear. Ah, oh, do we do underwear first? Yes, we have. Put on your socks. Put on your shoes and put on your jumper. Okay, maybe a shirt, t-shirt, let's see. Or maybe it's cold outside, so you need a shirt and a jumper. Okay, so yes, I think we have already decided. Underwear, underwear. So we have a number one and an S, T, first. Now, what would we do second? So first you have your underwear, then shoes, no, then jumpers, no. Uh, so if you look carefully at the pictures, look, the little girl and boy uh, have got the different layers of clothes. So here, look, she has her underwear. No. Oh and her socks in here, but on her socks, but she has her trouser and oh, oh, anyway, the pictures are kind of funny. So second, put on your shirt, yes, your underwear, your shirt, and then your trousers, let's have trousers, third, third. And then fourth, yes, as it's cold today, we will put on our jumper. Uh -huh. Jumper fourth. And then what goes first? Socks or shoes? Which is beef? Yes, socks. Put your socks on the outside of your shoes. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, uh oh. Uh, oh, my pen got stuck. This is eight. Uh, it's not meant to be a number eight. It's meant to be a number five. Oh, dear. Oh, where's the rubber teacher? Here we go. Okay, so. After four comes fifth. Okay, now it looks like a number five and a T and a H. Whew. And so lastly, third on your shoes is sixth, uh, sixth. Oof, oof, that is hard work for me, writing on the computer. So after you have written the ordinal numbers and colored the pictures, you can cut out the squares and stick them on the page, but in order. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then sixth. Okay, whoa. So there's a few of these this week to help you practice writing ordinal numbers and also will make you think, hmm, how do I do things? What do I do first? So color the pictures nicely and hopefully write nicer than the teacher, please. And have some fun. 
I will see you later. Cheerio for now. Bye-bye.